Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kim. Today I'm going to make some wax melts. Uh, I've got some eco wax here, soya eco wax, and this is in pellet form, these little beads. Uh, I'm going to measure up about a kilogram of wax and then I'm going to get some scents and some colouring and I'm going to pop that in. Uh, I'm going to make a few today. Not, you know, I have made quite a lot over the last few weeks, but in this video, it's just a few. Now, I've, like I say, I've melted a kilogram of wax in this pan here and I've popped it into a big pot of hot water and that is on a medium heat. You don't want to boil your water. You do not want to get any water in your wax. It won't set properly. I've got some lemongrass and ginger scent and I've also got some yellow colouring and some glitter. Now, I've purchased a few bits and pieces along with some dye chips. I don't really like the dye chips because they seem to take a long time to melt. So, and the colour never seems the same once I put it in. It's hard to judge. So I don't bother with the dye chips anymore. And I just, I like to use the liquid colouring. I've got quite a few scents as well to use up and um, fragrances and um, yeah now uh making wax melts you if you're selling them you have to have the right uh labeling so you can get all your labeling all your ingredients from the place where you purchased your scents so they've always got a copy of the like the clp labels and stuff so go to that and you can download it and pop it onto your own labels you can make your own labels in avery um, and labels.com that's how I did mine although I'm not really selling them so here I'm I've got a heat gun which you just point and pull the trigger and it automatically gives you the heat which is ideal so it's 69 at the minute I like to heat it up to about 70 80 and then let it cool down um, pop the scents in at about 65 uh, give it a good stir and that usually cools it down to about 60. Now when you've got uh, your wax as opposed to your scent you want to be using 5 to 10 percent scents uh, as opposed to how much wax you've got. So say if you've got a, a thousand grams of wax you want uh, what is it a uh, hundred grams of scent okay I think that's right 10 percent yeah so um that's if you're using 10%. Now, with some scents, you only need to use between 5 and 7%. So you just got to work it out, all right? Uh, yeah, so here I'm using about 50. So I'm using 5%, 50 grams of scent. And I'm mixing that in. Now, I do get a whisk and whisk it with that because it always helps to distribute the scent throughout the wax. Um, and then you keep whisking and let it, you know, distribute throughout the wax until you get to a good temperature of about 60. I don't pour, I don't like to pour below 60. Now I've put the colour in as well. Now depending on what colour you're, you're using, whether it's dye chips or, you know, liquid, you want to put the dye chips in when you're melting your wax. That's what I did. Okay. But if it's the liquid, it can go in at any point really because it colours it straight away you haven't got to wait for it to melt now give it a good mix and I'm going to be putting it into some silicon moulds now I bought the silicon moulds um, and they are they're like they're for chocolate really as you can see here we go so these are the large snap bars um, you can get these for about £6.99 each from a, a website I will link that down below as well I will link everything down below so you can get everything you need especially if you're in the UK to make wax melts all right I've also got some mini ones as well mini chocolate molds um, they do look quite cute when they're all packaged up here I'm putting in some glitter so with these wax melts they are lemon grass and ginger and they're they're going to be yellow and they are going to have a little bit of it's like green and yellow glitter so it's all in keeping Right, so here we go. So I'm popping in some glitter. Now, I like to pop the glitter in before I pour so that the glitter sticks to the top of the bar and you, it looks really pretty. You can incorporate it inside the wax itself, but, well, no, I don't think it's quite the same. It looks prettier this way. So now I'm pouring. Now, I like, usually I get a piece of cloth or a piece of tissue just underneath the, the lip of the where it pours. There we go, I'm doing it now. And I hold it there to catch any drips because to save the mess. 
because I have made quite a bit of mess doing this before, all right? Um, and you can fill them right up to the top. You don't have to keep going along. You can just pour it as it is and you can see the level as it comes up the mould. Um, I haven't quite judged correctly how much I need for how many snap bars. Now, I think these snap bars here are about 50 grams each. So what are you looking at? If you was to do big snap bars, you're looking at, you've got a thousand grams of wax melted, okay? You've got another 50 grams of um, liquid scent. Uh, what's that? 1,000. Oh, look, we've got the uh, little ones now. These are really uh, tricky to not make a mess. So what I'm saying is with the snap bars, you're looking at 50 gram a bar. So that's what, 50, 100, it's about 20 bars for a kilogram. But I'm not doing that because I want to use some of the silicone mould for another colour. So I'm doing a few of each. Um, I haven't, what I've done is I've emptied some of the wax into another jug so that I can do a different colour. So I haven't put the entire yellow colouring into the whole of the wax that I melted today. Um, this bit does get quite tricky, as you can see. And I do believe I have spilt it down the back of the wall. <laughs> but um, I'm going to decorate in this hallway anyway. I'm doing it out in my hallway. <laughs> uh, much to my husband's disbelief. Um, and my son, whose bedroom is just down, down the hall... <laughs> He always says to me, what, what's that smell? Because some of them he doesn't like the smell of. I did a candy cane and he did not like that. He said it made him feel sick. Um, but yeah, I think this one's a bit more to his taste. He didn't mind this too much. Uh, he also liked the um, cookies and cream as well, which I is one of my favourites. Really nice. So yeah, here we go. Uh, I'm not going to make a big business out of this. I don't even think I'm going to sell my wax melts, to be honest with you. Even though I have labelled them up correctly, I've done a big, big batch. Um, maybe I'll give them away for gifts for Christmas and birthdays. Um, keep some myself because I do like, you know, the wax when it scents the house. It's really, really nice. Um, I know it's a lot of outgoings just to make a few for presents and for myself, but... That's me. I like my crafting. So, yeah. Oh, look. Got a little bit left over. Now, you can do, um, you know, like little sample. If you're selling these, you could do sample bars. So, you could go and put a bit into the big snap bar there and just pour the remainder in. It will make a really thin bar and you can just snap a piece off and then send that with anyone's order. As you can see here, I haven't got quite enough to do that last bar. Um, here, it's starting to go off already. Look, as you can see, they're going yellow. They're going hard. Now I've got my next colour. Now this, I haven't put any colouring in at all because I want this to stay the same colour as the... Um, or did I put any white in this? I don't think I did. No, I think this is the ginger. I'm not sure, but... I didn't put any colouring in it and I didn't put and I wanted it all plain throughout. Yeah, it's the ginger. I remember now I didn't want to put any glitter in. I made a really nice white snap bar with coconut. It's called coconut and lime. And I popped uh, white dye chips in and then some of this really nice iridescent glitter. And it looks really nice and they smell really nice as well. So here I am pouring more wax into these wax melts and yeah um i leave these wax melts to dry and set for 24 hours okay i don't attempt to put them in the freezer like some people do i don't attempt to try and demold them i always wait for the half uh, for the half an hour sorry for the 24 hours because that way you're going to ensure that they are pretty solid um, they can take up to two weeks to cure fully, okay, to go rock hard. Now, this is the next day. So here I am, and look at that. Don't they look really pretty? Now, what I do is I pull at the wax melt, because it's silicone. You can pull at it, and it will pull them out of the uh, mould naturally. 
and then I try to peel out gently so that I can keep the shine on because sometimes they come out and they're matte because some of it sticks to the silicone mold. But as you can see here, I've done a pretty good job of it, which I'm really pleased with. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm so pleased with these and the house is smelling absolutely gorgeous at the moment. Uh, I like it anyway. Yeah, so here we go, pulling these out and unpacking these. Um, yeah, and then I will go ahead and unpack the white ones as well. But it's really quite um, pleasing when you get something like this and you do a good job. You know, it makes you feel, it makes me feel like I've accomplished. Now, as you can see, look, there's some left in. Now, those bits there will look quite matte on the bar itself which it doesn't matter I'm going to put labelings on anyway it's going to get melted so really it's not going to harm anyone is it if I did give them to people or sell them you know they're not going to complain because it's not shiny are they um yeah here we go so now I'm taking away the ginger ones I love the smell of gingerbread wax melts absolutely lovely um here we go look looking nice and this thin one here I've done because it's for just for samples if I wanted to send someone a sample of it so it saves just wasting the wax really uh yeah so it's quite nice unmolding these things it's quite therapeutic that as you can see is quite thin so it's broken and when you come to do the small snap bars you have to be careful because you will break them if you don't, if you're, you know, if you mishandle them. You've got to be quite gentle. Uh, and packaging as well. That's the next thing. We've got to get the packaging. Now, these big snap bars, I put in a cellophane package. Now, they fit quite nicely. The little snap bars, on the other hand, I put four in a bag. Um, back to back and side to side. You'll see in a moment, I hope. Um, I'm sure I recorded some of it, uh, but they are a little bit tight fitting in the bag. So you've got to be gentle when you're trying to put, put them in, depending on what size bags you've got. Um, like me, mine were a little bit tight, so, you know, I had, had to be a bit careful. Um, but it's really satisfying watching these unmold and packaging them up and they just look so professionally done. Uh, yeah, lovely. Now, as you can see, I have a little bit of red wax from some, some that I've made previous. As you can see, it's a slightly pink look. Now, that the other side is like from a very clean mould. But the other side, I'd obviously used a mould previous to that and I hadn't cleaned it thoroughly. Um, I will pop out a video uh, after this one. Hopefully, it'll be after this one to show you how to wash your wax moulds properly. OK, so watch out for that. Now, these are the little snap bars. Look at that. Look, aren't they cute? So pretty. And these are ideal if you want to sell, um, I don't know, like a, a range of them, a load of them in a, like a gift set. They look really pretty. And it's amazing, really, what you can do and how you can package these things to make them look really appealing to the eye. And they would make lovely gifts. They would make lovely gifts. Um now, I wonder if I made some white ones of these. I'm pretty sure I did. Some gingerbread ones. I'm pretty sure I did, but we'll see, won't we? Uh, yeah, so if you get any bits that are hanging over, you can just snap that off to clean the edges up, like where I've sort of leaked over onto the silicone mould. It's You can always snap those pieces off. Um, I will leave links down below of where you can get everything you need to make these wax moulds, okay? Everything. And it will be um, good... I won't say wholesale prices, but I think it's the cheapest you're going to get in most places. Where you know, um, I think it's better to get them on um, like on proper websites as opposed to Amazon. Uh, yeah. Anyway, see there you go. I've made a mess of that. Look, see, look at that. It's a bit of a mess, but uh, and I think I actually spilt it all down the back of the wall here, but. Never mind. <laughs> um, you can actually, like I said, clean the edges up by snapping those little bits off. Uh, and, it, it, you know, it does the trick. Um, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, like I said, if you don't clean your wax moulds properly, you can actually get colouring. If you've been using colouring, 
it can go on to your next lot of wax molds, uh, wax molds, melts. <laughs> so it's always best to make sure they're thoroughly clean and dry. They have to be dry, okay? Like I said, if you get any water in your wax melt, it will not, it won't set properly. Um, yeah, so I'll leave you with this until I start packaging. So here we are, we're going to package some up now. Uh, yes, so I've got these cellophane bags here and I am just going to pop a bar in and I'm opting for one that hasn't got any pink colouring on it. Uh, peel the label and then just pull it over and there we go. Seal. And I have some stickers to go on there as well. Yeah, there we go. I made some stickers up, I <laughs> just made up a brand name and basically, I don't know, I just went with it, just a bit of fun really, but um, yeah, look at that look. I even made a Facebook page, but intentions were I was going to sell them, but if I'm honest with you, I haven't got the time to make and sell wax melts. Um, I, I will enjoy making them for crafting purposes, but that will be it. Um, yeah and if I do make any I will make a video and I will try and you know pass on all the knowledge that I've learned um because I do art that's what that's where my money is so for those of you that um don't know I have an art channel which is new and up and running and it's called Kim Thane's art channel I'll link that down below as well so please pop over and give it a subscribe it doesn't cost anything to subscribe and you know it'd be great if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please subscribe to this channel it all helps and then it gives me more incentive to put out more videos here you see there's this the C, um, CPL CLP labels whatever you want to call them on the back there with all the um, you know the warnings and the ingredients and so on and like I said, you can actually download these labels from the uh, website where you purchased your scents from, your fragrances. Uh, and then you can transfer it onto your own stickers in Avery and labels.com. Now, if anyone wants to know how to do this, how to, if they want to see a video on how I make my labels, please pop it down in the comments below and I will be happy to make a video. Um, it's pretty easy, it's pretty simple. Um, yeah, I'll be happy to show you. Uh, yeah, so here I've popped four in, look, and these are different bags and they look cute, don't they? Look at that, look. And you mix and match a load of different colours and scents and maybe put a wax melt burner in there, sell it as a gift pack, you know, lovely, really nice. That's what I think anyway. Um, and there's just enough room on there to put a CPL la label. CPL, CLP, CPL, I don't know. I can't remember now. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, I'm having fun, having fun. And I tell you, I have made quite a few. Um, I've made several different um, colours, fragrances, and I have enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. Um, but it is time consuming and I, you know, um, for those of you out there that want to make a business of this, then it's ideal. You know, this video, um, I hope, will help you. Uh, yeah. So here we go. I think I'm just doing one of each at the moment, just to give you a basic idea of how I package. And then I'll probably do the rest of them at a later date or, you know, later on. And there you go. Label on. And there. Look at that look. So that's two different fragrances and... They look pretty cute. I'm really pleased with those. Yeah. I mean, the the big bars, I imagine, would look nice as a set of, like, five different colours boxed up and sent off to, like, a friend. I I'm, I remember a friend sending, you know, a box of these to me. Um, when I first opened the box, I'd never seen this thing this before, and I was like, oh, wow, chocolate. But no, it was wax melts, which was actually even better because <laughs> they smelt lovely and they didn't make me put weight on. So there we go. Win-win. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you did, please give the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. And, you know, I'll see you in another video. But look, look at that look. This is a load that I have made, all right, in the past few weeks. And we've got all sorts here. Sugar plum, we've got passion, passion flower, coconut and lime. Um, oh, another favourite is bakewell tart. Oh, my God, that's so nice. The pink there is bakewell tart. But look at them. Aren't they pretty? And they would make such lovely gifts. That's the candy cane. My son did not like the candy cane. There we go. CPL, CLP, whatever you want to call it. Labels on the back. Um, yeah, look at that look. So pleased with it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.